First alert weather alert has been called for today. Here's a live look right now at Palm Canyon in downtown Palm Springs. You can see that sunrise is coming in, but it's a little hazy out there. Weathercaster Tatum Larson is in with your first alert forecast and Tatum on my way here to work. It was pretty it almost looked like fog out there, but I understand a lot of that is sand, right? Exactly. A lot of that is sand, dirt and silt just suspended up into the air because of all of this wind that we're seeing this morning. We're actually seeing it right now on cam. We're seeing a shaky sunrise looking at our Coachella cam right now, and that's just the case across the valley. It's a very windy morning, especially in the East Valley and of course along the I-10 corridor, an area that we always tend to track whenever it's windy. Right now we're seeing a gust of 26 miles per hour near Indio. 31 miles per hour near Thousand Palms, 21 miles per hour near Desert, Desert Hot Springs, and 38 miles per hour near Whitewater. So certainly windy out there. That's exactly why we're seeing that poor air quality and why we have this wind advisory that will stay in effect until tomorrow morning around 3 a.m. because we could see gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. And of course, air quality and visibility concerns remain for the team here. Now this morning, we're going to be seeing consistent windy conditions but mostly along the I-10 corridor. So if you are making the drive towards the pass, just make sure to drive with some extra caution. You know what to do when it's windy out. Just drive a little bit slower and try to stay away from large vehicles. But later this afternoon, you'll start to notice that winds will be picking up across the valley. So definitely by this afternoon, if you are driving or just heading outside, just make sure to act with some extra caution, especially if you are driving because we are seeing those stronger winds and they're set to increase even further by tonight. Night. So strong winds are just going to stay with us, especially along those wind prone spots. So just something to keep in mind if you are heading outdoors today or if you are um, driving along the I-10 corridor. Though weaken overnight into Sunday, they're not going to be weak by any means, but weaker than what we are seeing this morning and what we will see later this afternoon into this evening. But they'll start to pick up again by Sunday afternoon, but mostly along the I-10 corridor and towards those wind prone spots like the San Gregorio Pass. We'll start to see winds weaken even further into Monday, but even though winds will weaken, of course, air quality will remain a concern. This is a look at our air quality right now. Right now across the valley, we're in the moderate zone, so it's not too bad, but we've seen over the past couple of weeks since Hillary, that could change very quickly, especially when it's windy out. Here's the reason behind the wind. It's a low pressure system that is not only ushering in uh, those windy conditions, but cooler air too, and it's doing this to our temperatures. Now the daily high for this time of year, the regular high rather, is 97 degrees. Here's our high for today, 81 degrees, and tomorrow 79 degrees. So we're quite a bit below average, and we'll stay there for the first half of this upcoming work week as well, but Bianca, those temperatures will rebound closer to those seasonal averages by the end of next week. Back to you.